And the agenda, first agenda, of course, is how do you get into XLRA? What is what are the keys to to crack this that? And and then which program should you apply for? Introduce yourself, uh, starting from Ayush, Ayush, Ravi, Divya, and Kartike, right? Sure. Uh, I'm Ayush Kumar. I did my aerospace engineering from Florida. Then I worked for about four and a half years in education and then in health tech. And right now I am in XLRI's uh, general management program, which is for people with work experience. It's called the GMP. Yeah, it's and called so the GMP. It's a one-year program. It's the one-year program. It's a one-year program. Okay. It's like it's like the executive MBA parallel to that. Yeah. And also, also the fees are higher in this than uh, the, the no, the fees is about the same. It's about just we have it over two years, we have it over one year. Okay. Yeah. So mid mid career professionals. So what's the batch uh, profile uh, minimum minimum experience? We'll we'll continue this this line since yeah. that's interesting. So what's the batch profile in terms of minimum experience, maximum experience? Minimum Media. experience, yeah. Minimum experience is about uh, so like I have essentially I have five years. Minimum experience is five years. Minimum maximum, five years. Yeah, minimum is five. Uh-huh. And I think the person in the batch who has the maximum experience has maybe twenty. Okay. And yeah. the median median would be what seven eight. Median would be about seven eight. Yeah. So uh, the entry age is around 27, 28 to forty also. Yeah, we have we have a couple of people who are above forty. They must be pretty senior professionals in their uh, in their yeah. career. Yeah. And do what kind of delta do you do you, do you, do does the batch expect from? From your job before an MBA and to before the GMP to after the GMP. So uh, because the GMP profiles are so diverse, that one's a little hard to say. But people do expect a significant jump, and people okay. do usually get that jump. Uh, so at least a two x two x. Yeah. Okay. So you enter at 20, 25 lakhs and you exit at fifty lakhs plus. If if that happens, that's awesome. But uh, generally, sometimes it will be a little lower. Okay. So for so example, people only uh, ten fifteen lakhs also, I guess, right? Yeah. So two x will get you, I guess, right? Two x around will get you. Okay. Uh, last year, I believe the median package went to about twenty two, twenty three. Okay. Or usme bhi ye tha that their median was much higher than COVID hit. Okay. And. So, because, hmm. Yeah, so, so that happened lower because right. of the COVID hit. It was it must have been lower because of the COVID hit. Ha. Huh. So before the COVID hit, they placed about uh, 85, 90 percent of the batch. Okay. And uh, so again, what? obviously we have the details. But, yeah. So those are the details that are available on the site also. Uh, what is the highest package? That is not informed. Yeah, that we don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Great. So, um, so how does how do placement profiles differ uh, from a GMP to a BMD? So uh, I can I can speak for GMP, and I think uh, Karthik or Divya can speak more to the BM process. Mm-hmm. So yeah. GMP GMP has about especially this year it has about an equal mix of IT and non IT, and then okay. people into roles such as product management and consulting. And so there's a lot of those profiles coming. There's a mix so of IT. After GMP, you enter the higher, uh, higher middle management. Uh, that's yeah. the kind of role you get. Yeah. Okay. And directly, obviously, no management trainees and all after that. No. Then you just go straight into the position. Good. good and good. the wonderful thing, I would like to add to this, sir, that in yeah. GMP, as soon as you enter the college, you will be in the race for placements. So currently we have we are almost like five months into the program and fifty percent of the batch is already placed and we are like ready to fly <laughs> in next are you six also, months. You are GMP program, Ravi? Uh, yes, sir. I'm okay. also from GMP program. So I graduated back in 2015 from NIT and. Uh, since then, I've worked in uh, analytics sector, data analytics, in five year, for five years, and then I moved to GMP. Okay. This year. Okay, great. And does the GMP allow an industry shift, or is, is it the same industry? You enter the same same industry, uh, or or you go okay. to? Okay. 
so uh, a drastic shift would not be possible just because you are coming with a uh, background so that is really not a case here but yes if you want to shift your uh, like culture uh, verticals within the industry it is very much possible say okay. for example i am from banking and financial services i can shift my domains from uh, say data analytics to consulting or uh, some similar profile but in banking and financial services a drastic okay. shift is something which we should look for but it is rare it is rare because obviously you then lose the experience of the past yes the advantage correct. of the experience you lose right right here yeah. how what is the entry process uh, so the entry process is uh, similar to the way it is for bm there's two hmm. routes uh, so you can enter through the xat or the gmat okay and uh, once they've selected you on the base, so obviously G, uh, gmp is more profile based also ha huh. so, so you have uh, uh, ha so you have with your files etc because that's people outside need to know there's a lot of curiosity about that Huh. What so, and what are profile things that they look at? Biggest question: Ten, twelve, देखते हैं कि नहीं? अब so the the thing is in GMP में उतना transparent they don't tell us okay. what they're going to. They'll have you fill everything, but so a lot of colleges will tell you specifically that this thing is worth ten percent, this thing is worth twenty percent. Hmm. GMP hmm. में they won't give you that breakdown. Okay. स्पेशली क्योंकि लोगों का ऐसा है somebody is 40, उनके टेंथ ट्वेल्थ से उतना मतलब नहीं होगा राइट ऑब्वियसली नहीं होना चाहिए राइट कितना ऑलरेडी काफी उन्होंने उसके लिए मार खाया होगा जिंदगी में उनकी क्रेडिबिलिटी फॉर अलग चीज है Hmm. they look at your profile hamara bhi jo batch hai and ravi can also attest to it we have a very matlab there's a mix of all kinds of profiles so there's people from there's a lot of people from it there's people from sales and marketing there's people from the merchant navy there's people from accenture there's people from goldman sachs there are so, police in our department right koi ek baat bhai bhai karo theek hai xlari does not tell you the criteria बट तुम लोग एनेक्डोटल तो पता चल गया होगा ना आपस में बात करके एनेक्डोटल में भी इट्स इट्स सॉर्ट ऑफ हार्ड टू टेल क्योंकि आपका वो हो गया उसके बाद दिस ईयर दे एडेड द एसी बट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पीपल मेड इट समबडी हु हैड रियली बैड एकेडमिक्स एट द स्टार्ट स्टार्टेड डूइंग वेल इन द जॉब उस तरह के लोग हैं वो ग्रुप में कुछ हां देयर आर पीपल जिनका फॉर एग्जांपल मतलब ऑब्वियसली आई कैन नॉट स्पीक टू द एग्जैक्ट स्कोर्स बट जिनको लगा कि हमारा जीमैट सब ऑप्टिमल था लेकिन जिनका जीडीपीआई काफी बढ़िया गया जिनकी प्रोफाइल अच्छी थी देर आर पीपल हु गॉटन इन नॉट नेसेसरिटी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द स्कोर आल्सो जस्ट बिकॉज़ देयर प्रोफाइल वाज गुड दे डिड दैट जीडीपीआई वेल ओके एंड व्हाट अबाउट दैट स्कोर्स व्हाट परसेंटाइल मतलब पहले तो कॉल आना चाहिए ना उसके बाद ही जीडीपीआई करोगे या सो फॉर दैट स्कोर्स आई वुड से कि यू विल हैव टू बी अबव 80 परसेंटाइल to get a core uh, call in gmp itself but a lot of weightage i guess depends on the interview process itself so that okay. score is not that you will have to be 99 percent tyler you can be above 85 90 around and you can easily get a, a call if you have a good profile so okay. that's what they look for and what about gmat gmat score range kya hai gmat score ka i think the median was about 670 okay जो चीज मुझे पता है स्पेशली फॉर द पीपल हु बी अप्लाइंग टू जीएमपी इन द कमिंग ईयर इज दैट यू आर बेटर ऑफ हैविंग टेकन द जीमैट देन द एग्जैक्ट ओके यस हां ओके देयर इज प्रेफरेंस गिवन टू मतलब ऑल थिंग्स बीइंग इक्वल इफ यू इफ यू हैव अ गुड जीमैट स्कोर दैट गेट्स प्रेफरेंस ओवर अ गुड एग्जैक्ट स्कोर ओके एब्सोल्युटली ओके सो व्हाट व्हाट बैच व्हाट परसेंटेज ऑफ अ बैच अगेन एन इट टोटल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू ऑफ यू केम थ्रू द जीमैट एंड So what? most of the people came from the chat. Most of the people came from that. Yeah, we can say eighty twenty ratio. Eighty twenty ratio. What was the batch? Ninety three. Ninety three. Yeah, ninety three. And boys girls ratio? What the, do a lot of women also come in? Uh, yeah, but yeah. It's a little skew here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what? I mean, in in general, that happens in a lot of programs that started changing. Now. No, there's there's an issue with women also. from in, the, in terms of family etc even my batch people who passed out of i am bangalore they had to take a mid career break for a couple of years or take a slightly lighter job than what we men could do 
yeah. Because yeah. Um, and yeah, that that aspect remains hmm. in, in our society. Yeah. yeah, but I would like to add that uh, uh, this current year is exceptional because because of the COVID scenario. Uh, like last year, we had around thirty four or thirty five uh, female candidates out of uh, ninety plus. But this year, we have around roughly around eighteen candidates, women candidates. So COVID would have played a significant role. Uh, so that's this question: What are the number of seats reserved for women? Executive MBA. Okay. Uh, so, so there, there is no reservation as such, right, Ayush? No, no there is no for women, but ye hai ki, if you are a female candidate, you will stand out more because the number of male candidates who apply is just it's a higher number. Yeah, yeah. So, if you're a female candidate and you're good, you will you'll automatically stand up. Yeah, good exactly. chance. 